Are you considering moving to Hazlitt, New Jersey? Maybe you are curious about the town, what there is to do, and what life is really like living there. Well, in this video, I am going to discuss all that and explain to you what it's like living here in Hazlitt, New Jersey. Hi, I'm Melissa DeSantis, Broker Associate in Monmouth County. Welcome back to my channel. On this channel, I talk about anything and everything related to living here in Monmouth County. If this is your first time on my channel, welcome. Please make sure you tap the bell and hit the subscribe button so that you're notified each time I post a new video about life and living in Monmouth County, New Jersey. Whether you already live in Hazlitt or you're considering making a move, in this video, I am going to share with you five things you must know about life in Hazlitt, New Jersey. So let's get started. The first thing you need to know is location. Hazlitt is inland and it borders several other townships, including Homedell to the Southwest, Aberdeen to the west, Middletown to the northwest, and Union Beach to the northeast. The Raritan Bay is on the east of Hazlitt, providing access to waterways. This makes its location ideal to both New York City and the Jersey Shore beaches. Number two is what is there to do in and near Hazlitt? Hazlitt offers a variety of activities and attractions, including Bayshore Waterfront Park, this park is nearby in Port Monmouth with beautiful views of the Raritan Bay, hiking trails, fishing areas, and a playground. There are several other nearby parks as well, including Homedale Park, Dorbrick Recreation Center in Colts Neck, and of course, Veterans Memorial Park right in Hazlitt, featuring sports fields, playgrounds, and walking paths. It's a great spot for outdoor activities and family outings. Just a short drive away is Keensburg Amusement Park with rides, games, a water park, a beach, and it's a fun destination for families. And if you love to shop like I do, you can visit the nearby town of Red Bank offering a variety of shops, boutiques, and galleries. It's a charming town and area to explore. Lastly, you aren't far from nearby beaches such as Sandy Hook, Mama, Seabright, and Long Branch. Number three on the list is commuting. If you travel north to New York City, Hazlitt is an ideal town to live in. Many residents choose to live here due to the easy access of the commute. You are very close to the Garden State Parkway and you have several options for commuting. Aside from driving, you can choose to take the express bus to Port Authority and there are several locations you can pick the bus up from. The train is probably one of the most common ways. Hazlitt is served by the New Jersey Transit and the Aberdeen Matawan train station is the nearest station with direct access to New York Penn Station. Traveling time from Hazlitt to Penn Station by train is approximately one hour. There is also a nearby ferry, which some residents enjoy for a scenic and efficient commute. Number four on the list is community. What is the community and atmosphere like in Hazlitt? Well, Hazlitt is often considered a family-friendly community. Many residents appreciate the suburban setting for raising families with access to schools, parks, and community activities. The town often organizes community events and activities. These events can foster a sense of community and provide opportunities for residents to connect with one another. Also, Hazlitt has several local businesses, shops, and restaurants that contribute to the community's character. Supporting local businesses is a large part of the community and atmosphere. You will also find they have lower crime rates compared to urban areas. This contributes to a sense of safety and security for residents. 
the last and fifth thing that you will find helpful to know about living in Hazlitt is that you tend to get more for your money in a home than you do in other parts of Monmouth County. Hazlitt offers single family homes, condos, townhomes, and apartments. You will find two bedroom condos starting at around 300,000, townhomes in the 450,000 range, and single family homes starting in the upper 400,000 range going to around 800,000, making the median home price just about 600,000. These prices can be considerably lower than surrounding towns such as Homedale and Middletown. So there you have it. Five essential things you need to know about living in Hazlitt, New Jersey. If you have further questions about the town or the surrounding areas, please reach out to me. If you are considering moving to the area or selling your home, I would love to hear from you. Until next time, I'm Melissa DeSantis, Broker Associate in Monmouth County, New Jersey.